congratulations for taking nearly the last spot for being at the Olympics in the next weeks. So it was a trial against your teammates who fight together to get this last spot. You were down when I'm not wrong, 9-12, and then you thought, hmm, could be my last Olympics, I need to push? Yeah, there was a, definitely a little extra um, push uh, within me. That, that thought that you mentioned was definitely in my mind. And, you know, I'm looking across the net when Sam's serving and I see uh, just all my friends and family. And I'm like, no, you know, I can't let them come all the way here and just go out like this. So um, we were able to, uh, you know, dig deep and execute uh, the game plan we wanted it eventually and come out with the win. Now you are, well, about Canada, I have four teams there. It's not many nations who who done the, which done this. So how great is it? And the four years between the last Olympics and the qualification phase summarize it. How hard was it? And the ups and down. How proud are you to to make it in the end? I mean, it's a fantastic accomplishment for our country to be able to send the four teams. So we're all very proud and. We've worked so hard over the last four years, so that was a very difficult road, but it makes it that much uh, sweeter to accomplish it and really be able to share that with our families and represent our country at the Olympics. So uh, many teams and from the other countries already been there at the Olympics, and maybe this is they know how things are going because it's sometimes or it will be different to the normal World Tour matches. So how do you prepare to? to be there and um, uh, are you living in the Olympic Village or like many others at the hotel or uh, some apartment in the Copacabana? Yeah, we'll be staying near the venue in Copacabana. Um, I was able to experience the Olympics last time, so it was very cool to be in the village and uh, have all the extra, you know, um, excitement around it, but sometimes it can be distracting a little bit. And um, I know, I think Brink Reckerman, their first time they were in the Olympics, they did, they stayed in the village, and then, then the second time, you know, they kind of removed themselves, and you can see all, most of the top teams, to be honest, from London also, you didn't see them around, they're kind of treating it a little bit more um, like professional, not taking in all the uh, extracurriculars, but it's difficult because it's an amazing experience to not have that as well, like opening ceremonies and, and everything that comes with it. So um, I think, you know, for myself, I'll be a little bit more focused. And Sam, I'm, you know, going to try to obviously get him some experience overall the Olympics, but also stay focused. So it's kind of a, a balance. During the flight to Rio, Josh, uh, tell you some secrets uh, about the Olympics? I'm sure he'll give me a couple of gems, but I think he trusts that uh, we both have the ability to just uh, be successful if we play our own game. What is the goal? The goal is on the podium. Um, we know that uh, you know it's realistic for us. Usually, like every Olympics, there's always a team that kind of nobody's expecting, but then you ask that team and they knew that within they could do that. Um, and it's different for us this year compared to last time too because we actually do have the um, experience. We've beaten a lot of the top teams in the world. We have been on the podium before, so it's not just kind of a hope. It's a, it's a realistic uh, opportunity. How excited are you that the Swatch Major Finals will be in Toronto? I think it's a long time since there is no big tournament worth there. How happy are you? Oh, we love playing at home in front of the family and friends, so we're very excited to be hopefully a part of that tournament. Uh, it will be a great experience uh, for the fans to see that quality of play on the world tour. They haven't seen it for years, and I think everyone is, the buzz around beach volleyball is, it's really amping up, getting closer to the finals. So thank you for the interview and much success in Rio, and we see us there, and hopefully, maybe, with a medal around your neck. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.